Hey everyone, it's uh, Ryan here from uh, GFX Port. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to, well this has been a request from many of my subscribers and fans that they want to know how to make a star scene and they've seen it in my video for the planetary eclipse tutorial so I will show you how to make that nebula type of deal star scene just using this simple photoshopping uh, filters and simple blending blending modes with, uh, with just a few layers here as you see <clears throat> this is also going to be uh, joined together within because uh, I'm going to make a full spacing tutorial so this is actually going to be the first one the next one is going to be showing you how to make different types of planets and then after that I'm going to be showing you how to make an asteroid belt around a planet and then basically make a space scene from that with like uh, UFOs flying, flying around and ripping around with comets in the background which is one of my tutorials is a comet tutorial so I'm going to show you how to make a full space scene using all the tutorials that I have on my YouTube channel. So basically we're going to start off by opening up a new document here. We want to go, I use for this tutorial 600 by 600 and basically just fill in your background with black. And make another new layer and fill that in with black too. And we're going to call this one stars. Not SARS, stars. Don't want that SARS, man. So, okay, so we got our stars here, our stars layer. You want to make sure that's selected. We go to filter, noise, and add noise. We want to make sure we have Gaussian on and we have monochromatic clicked on. Because if we don't have monochromatic clicked on, it's going to make our stars all different types of colors. We don't want that. We want it nice and white and gray. And I put 30%, which is a decent number. You can also try more if you want. It's totally up to you. So I'm going to go 30.68% for this one. And then once we get that, simply just go to Image, Adjustments, and Levels. And this is going to single out our stars so we don't have as much clutter with our stars here. So drag it up anywhere, like I say 180, 200. You don't need to have that many stars, but it, like say if you want that much stars, or if you want say if you want that much stars, it's totally up to you how much stars you want to have. But I'm gonna go with uh, 187 here, and what I'm gonna do now is simply make a selection in the middle of my stars layer. But we want to make it just a little bit smaller than the stars that like than our uh, document size here. And once we make our selection there with the rectangular marquee tool, we want to Control C to copy it. And control V to paste it. And what we're going to do now is free transform it. So edit, free transform, and we're going to bring this back up to normal size. This, what this is doing is giving us larger stars, so all the stars aren't the same size, and it just makes things that look a lot better. So what we do now is simply go to and set this to screen, our blending mode, and as you see, we have the larger stars in there now. So it kind of looks more more realistic than just having just that. So as you see, the stars are bigger and adds a better effect. So basically now what we want to do is uh, make a cloud layer. So we'll call this, well actually no, we merge these two layers together so it says we're done with our stars. So you select them with the compress control E and we'll just rename that stars again. And we're going to call this one clouds. And what we're going to do here is fill this in with black and then go filter, render, clouds. And what we do here, we just simply just go to overlay as the blending mode. And it doesn't do nothing at the moment, but you will see what will happen here once we get into the final effects. We want to make another new layer now, and we're going to call this gradient. And what we're going to do with this is simply bust out our gradient tool, which is right here. And you can pick any different, like any type of color you want to go with. I'm actually going to go with uh, maybe an orange, darker orange. Maybe a little bit of darker purple here. And what I'm going to do is just make a gradient in the middle like so. So now that I got that done, I want to set the blending mode for this to overlay as well. Now you see it's affecting the star's colors right now, which is perfectly fine because what we do on this next layer here, we make a new layer above stars and we're going to name this brush strokes. And then once we get that set up, we can finally start brushing around with our brush tool and I'll just do a couple clicks. You want to play around with your opacity so I'm going to start off with uh, 5%. You simply just want to paint around okay, let's go up to it. Oh yeah you want to make sure 
Here, make a new one. Brush strokes. You want to make sure your brush is uh, on white. White as your foreground. Now you see I was just doing clicks there. Nothing was happening. I just kept quiet trying to act like I still knew what I was doing. <laughs> so basically you want to just make your strokes around. I'm going to make strokes around the soft sides here. Like uh, just to... Because uh, they'll, they'll make it look like the nebula is fading out. So it's not so bright when it comes out to the darker sides. And then when, it, when I start going in towards the middle, I start making it get a little bit brighter. As you see, it's starting to come together really nice now. And you basically just click around until you find that you have a nice little spacing nebula that's starting to go on. As you see, the, the purple... I'm going to make it a little bit brighter, so I'm going to bring down my brush size here, bring it maybe like 114, and I'm just going to make little strokes like that. But that, but that actually seems a little bit too bright for me, so you can always use your history window here and remove a couple of brush strokes. Bring the opacity down a bit. As you see, it's a pretty basic, easy effect to get a nice nebula effect here. This took me probably not even four minutes. And as you see, it's a great effect. You can also go to your stars here. If you want to make your nebula the focal point, you can use a eraser tool and erase out your stars that you don't want in. So you just simply just erase them out. I have my flow set down a bit here so the brush stroke is a lot more smoother. I can go in this areas like this and fade it out a bit better. But yeah, as you see, there's my nebula effect done in Photoshop using just simple five layers here, a couple filters, and a gradient, and some brush strokes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, rate five stars, and stay tuned for many more videos. There's going to be a full space scene that's going to be coming out from this video. This is the first one. And then I have many more spacing tutorials that are going to use the same type of uh, aspects I used in there. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and uh, check back soon, guys. Take care.